Hi everyone, I'm Nikki, co-founder at JEXA and thanks for joining me in our third video about prioritization techniques. In this one, let's have a closer look at the waitest shortest job first method. As the title suggests, this prioritization framework is focusing on identifying tasks, you can refer to these as jobs, that are most critical to be completed to reduce the queues and save time. It's usually recommended for big projects and organizations that use scaled agile framework to provide the best economic outcomes. When using these frameworks, you are going to ask four key questions to fill required metrics, which we then use to calculate cost of delay and the final priority score. These metrics are business value, time criticality, risk reduction, and estimated size. Let's have a closer look on them. First metric to assess is business value. The question we are answering is, how does this impact our business? When assessing this one, keep in mind your company or team goals and what kind of impact does this job have on your revenue and assign value from lowest to highest. Next metric to assign is time criticality. Here we need to assess if there are any fixed deadlines, an impact on other teams, or if there is a risk of losing customer when the task is not delivered on time and so on. And again, assign values from lowest to highest. The third metric is risk reduction. With risk reduction, we are assessing if there is any negative impact if we delay this task and assign risk level from lowest to highest. The last metric is estimated size. Here we are asking how difficult it is to deliver the task. You can use t-shirt size estimation to make it easier for your team. When we have all metrics assigned, we can then calculate cost of delay and the priority score. Cost of delay is a sum of business value, time criticality and risk reduction. Cost of delay helps quantify impact of time on outcomes we are hoping to achieve. To calculate weightest shortest job first priority score, divide cost of delay with estimated size and you have it. Higher the priority score, more important the task is. Now let's have a closer look at the example of how you can use this method. I have a sample backlog of tasks to prioritize in Jira and I'm using Foxly, backlog prioritization app for Jira to record our metrics. The weighted shortest job first method is predefined in the app and here you can see its metrics. Business value, time criticality, risk reduction and estimated size. When it comes to prioritizing backlog, here is a priority table where I can fill each of these metrics for all issues. Once we fill them all up, we can have a look on the final priority score and order our list by the priority score from highest to lowest and see the most important on the top. You can also visualize estimated size and business value metrics on the priority matrix to easily identify quick wins which are most valuable tasks that are achievable with the lowest effort. If you are looking for a backlog prioritization tool that integrates with Jira, where you can use this template, you can try our app Foxy. It's really fun and easy to use and it helps keep everyone in your team and stakeholders up to date with the latest priorities. If you feel that the way to shut this job first prioritization technique might not be the right one for you and your team, have a look on our other videos where we introduce other ones like rice, ice, value versus impact or quick wins method. See you in the next video and in the meantime, happy prioritizing!